Hi parents, it's Mr. Jarvis. Um, hey, I just want to give you some strategies as you're at home reading with your child um, and they get stuck uh, when they're reading. I want to give you some strategies to help them uh, to problem solve, okay? Uh, you don't want to jump in too quickly. You want to usually give them, you know, three to five seconds to try to problem solve themselves but there's some ways that you can be supportive to them to really help them to do that, okay? So I'm gonna be talking about six ways. I know that's a lot, so I'm gonna go through them quickly, um, but, and then I'll give you an example with my son Vincent as he's reading, okay? So the first thing uh, that I always do at this stage with, with uh, kindergarten students as they're reading is always tell them to get the word started and think about what makes sense. So for example, in this book, if they were reading along, look at us. We can, and they get stuck right here on this word, okay? I would say, okay, what's that first sound? And hopefully they would say, right? We can, now think about what would make sense. What are they doing? This book is called Helping, right? So we can help make the beds okay so that's just a way to get the word started and think about what makes sense okay the next thing is um, another strategy that you can use is tell them to slide their finger under a word when they get stuck okay so for example like in this word bags so let me show you a page like I'm talking about here in the book okay all right so they're reading along, look at us, we can help carry the, and they get stuck, okay? So they can take their finger and start sliding it and make the sounds, bags, bags. We can help carry the bags. Now notice that I'm always, they're always trying to get them to go back and reread to put it back in their story. So whenever they problem solve, they should always go back and reread to put it back in their story so that it makes sense, okay? And notice I said slide the finger. I wanna to try to get away from just doing individual sounds like b, a, g, s, right? I want them to slide it and make them nice and smooth so they can start to blend them together. Bags. Okay, so that's the goal. I know right now it might be a little bit tricky for them, but that's the end goal, okay? The next thing I wanna talk about is looking for bigger parts and words, okay? So let's say, say they come to a word like this, right? So I would, I would prompt them by saying, what part do you know in this word? Hopefully they could see the part at. If not, you can even cover up that letter and just show them that part that they might know, at, to problem solve that word, cat. Or for example, this word can, I might cover up this part. What part do you know? And, all right, what's the first sound? K and, can, and then of course go back and reread. I can't emphasize that enough that as soon as they problem solve or if you give them a word that they go back and reread, okay? Another thing that uh, you can prompt them with is using words that they already know to help them solve words that they don't know. Okay, so let's say they're getting stuck on the word this in their reading. They're reading a book and they get stuck on the word. So I would say, well, what word do you know that starts like this? Well, hopefully they would know the word the, okay? All right, yeah. So, and then sometimes I would give choices. So I could, I would say, okay, so it starts like the word the, so it could be this, that, which one do you think would look right? And hopefully they would say this and look all the way through the word. Or another example, like if they come across this word like moose that they're trying to problem solve, well, what's a word that you know that could help you? Do you know the word zoo? And I would even write that out for them, Z-O-O. -O. Yeah, what sound did that make in zoo? Ooh, all right, let's see if we can figure this out. Moose, moose, okay? So those are a, a way that you can help them use words that they already know uh, to help them solve words they don't know, okay? Now, this, another one I'm gonna talk about is vowel consonant E words. At this stage, uh, kindergarten students haven't been exposed to many vowel consonant E words, but they do show up in their reading, so I just wanna touch on it real briefly. Or we also call these bossy E words. So vowel consonant E, so that just means it's a word that has a vowel, a consonant, and an E. And so how these words work is that bossy E 
makes that vowel say its name. So if they're problem solving this word, they'd say er, a, k, instead of er, ak, because that bossy e is so bossy, it tells that vowel to say its name, okay? So like, same thing in this word bike, this, I'd say, oh, do you see that bossy e at the end? What sounds that I gonna make? It's gonna say its name, I, b, I, okay? And then of course, go back and reread. And then finally, uh, if they get stuck on a word, you know, if you've given them three to five seconds, you've helped them problem solve, they still can't figure it out, just give them the word. So anytime you give them the word, again, they should always go back and reread that and put it back in their sentence. So there's just some words that are just really tricky, like some sight words, like the word what, right? It's just a tricky word. So they might need you to just give them that word what, or another word like carry that we're gonna show in this book, okay? All right, so I'm going to set this up real quick. This is my son, Benson. You say hi, Benny. All right, so Benny's going to help me problem solve, and he's going to get stuck on a few words, okay? So can you sit up nice and tall, bud? All right, so now, like I said in the, uh, earlier, when they get stuck, I would normally give them three to five seconds. Just be for the sake of time, I'm not going to give uh, Benson that much time. I'm just going to show you how I would help him problem solve. So, Benny, can you go ahead and you're just going to stop at those words that are underlined, okay? Start reading right here. Good. What part do you know in that word? And. Good. Can you help? Can you go back and read? We we can, ooh, can you get that word started? What's the first sound? Good, what are they doing in the story? Help. All right, let's go back and see if you can do it. We can help. Ooh, would that make sense in the story? Yeah. yeah, they're helping, yeah. Okay, so we can help. Ooh, Benny, do you see that bossy E there? Yeah. That's gonna make that A say its name, okay? So can you make the sounds? Make. Good, that A said its name. Now let's go back and put in your story. We can help make the beds. All right, here's another one. Let's go to another page here where it just shows some examples, okay? All right, go ahead and read right here. Oh, let's read right here, buddy. We can help feed the... Ooh, okay, so if he was stuck right here, what part do you see in that word that you know? Do you see that part? What is that part you know? Um, it's... Uh, at, right? At. Yeah, so what is that word? At. Good. Now, I'm just showing this as an example. Obviously, if he got stuck on this word, he should be really thinking about what makes sense, right? We can help feed the cat, right? He wouldn't necessarily need to problem solve that by doing the sounds, um, but I'm just showing you as an example of how you can use parts that you that know. Word is at. Yeah, to help. Yeah, exactly. You see the word at there, and you see the, that word at in your word, don't you? Okay. All right, go ahead and get started. We can help. Now, let's say on this word, he got stuck on this word, right? And he's thinking about what makes sense. Let's say we try the word clean. Let's say he tried the word clean. We, we can, can help clean, clean the, the dishes, dishes, right? Now, that makes sense in the story, right? Okay, but does that word look like clean, Benny? Mm, no, it's a wash. Okay, why do you think it's wash? What does it start with? It's because it wash because it's having an A. Starts with a W, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So we should always, they should always notice like if a word doesn't look right, yeah? Clean would make sense, clean the dishes, but it doesn't quite look right. So I would just prompt, okay. So what, what how does that word start with a W? Very good. Okay, and then uh, finally, you know, here, if he got stuck on this word, he should be thinking about what they're doing in the story. We can help, 
right? But I could also, if they just got stuck and just couldn't figure it out, point out that bossy E and how that A uh, says its name to problem solve rake, okay? So those are just some tips uh, to help you. Oh, and then finally on this last page, I would probably give the word carry, right? You know, maybe he could figure it out because they're carrying the bags, right? But that's really just a tricky word, so I would probably just give him the word. So if he was reading, we can help, I'd just say carry the, and then can you slide your finger under that, Benny, and, sh and make all those sounds in that word? Bag. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. So we can help carry the bags. And would that make sense in the story? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because they're helping carry the bags. So parents, hopefully that's uh, helpful to you. Again, if you have any questions, would love to hear from you.